So, when I was 10, um, my, my granny, my mom's mom, um, she died. I was extremely close to her. So, um, this angel was hers, and so when she died, I took it, and I've had it ever since. So, that is why I always keep it wherever I go, because it was hers, and I just feel like I have a piece of her with me wherever I go. So, that's why it's sitting there. Okay, so this is totally random, and this is, um, something that just was, it was suggested to me, but it was funny because it's been on my heart to share it, and I just felt like maybe it was a God thing. So I'm going to put this in this video and just share a little bit about what I'm going through. So, um, I had a suggestion from a very dear friend of mine, Miss Lori, I met on Facebook. And I was reaching out um, for some Bible resources, and she asked if I wanted to do a, a Bible study with her. And of course I jumped at the chance because anytime I can study the Bible with anyone I just I want to do that and so um, I am so glad I did because I just love her so much and she has taught me so much in the little bit of time that we have talked and so she suggested that I share this share a Bible verse that means something to me right now a Bible verse that means it's really a lot to me is um, it is 2 Corinthians 5 7 for we walk by faith and not by sight and it really um, in the last I would say probably seven weeks that verse has come up in so many conversations of mine and in so many things and I feel like God is just trying to pound that into my head um, recently we've had a little bit of financial trouble um, it's been difficult. I was getting very, I, w I was worried, like nonstop. How are we going to pay our bills? How are we going to get through this? Like, you know, what does this look like? And, um, and so I was just stressing a lot, a lot, a lot. And I had a friend, I've talked about her before, uh, Carol. Uh, we talked so much and she told me, she said, um, you know, she said that when she gets to focusing on the problem instead of on God, it seems like the problem is so much bigger. And it, um, and she said, I have to remember we walk by faith and not by sight. And then there were several other, uh, Miss Judy said it one time. And then I was watching random things and in those videos they would talk about we walk by faith and not by sight. And I'm like, there it is again. And I just felt like God just kept giving me this over and over and over. And anytime, now there have been several times in the, recently that things have happened and I'm like, oh my goodness, not another thing that costs money. We don't have the money. And that verse will come to mind. We walk by faith and not by sight. And I'm like, okay, Lord, I know, I know I'm getting, I'm, I'm focusing too much on my problem and on what I can see and not on you. And I just want to encourage anyone that is dealing with something right now. Um, God hears, trust and believe me, he hears. And he will show you that he is there. And it may not be in the ways that you think. Um, another thing that Carol really, um, really helped me understand was she said that God will provide for you for your daily provisions. And we are told, do not worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will handle itself. And that's another one that has played right into this because I was so worried about, you know, my bills for this month and next month and the, the following months and, you know, and and worried about five months from now. What is that going to look like? I don't even know. We're not even promised that we're going to be here five months from now. I pray that I am, but I don't know for a fact that I'm going to wake up tomorrow. So why am I worried about something that's in the future when I need to be worried about today? And so um, that just, you know, being worried about tomorrow just is not wise when we don't know that we will wake up tomorrow. We don't know what tomorrow holds. So it, I felt like those two just went hand in hand. 
And so um, when she said that about our daily provisions, and I had been already here, like that was another one that was coming up a lot was, you know, don't worry about tomorrow and God feeding the sparrows. And if he feeds the sparrows, he will feed you and he will provide for what you need. And, um, but just know that when you pray and you have faith, God hears. And he has walked me through a really trying season and he is continuing to walk me through a really trying season and he continues to provide in ways that I cannot tell you. It's just unimaginable ways. And he continues to show me every single day that he is there and to walk by faith and not by sight. So I hope that, that encourages you and that this too shall pass. And um, so whatever you're facing today, whatever your struggles are, I hope that that gave you some encouragement. I hope this helped you in some kind of way. Thank you, Miss Lori, if you're watching this, for suggesting that because I had been thinking I wanted to share that in the in a video and just didn't know how or what to say, but um, if I felt like I had a nudge that I needed to share this and hope that it helps someone out there. And just know that God is listening and He is there even when we don't think that He is. And He provides in ways that I I never would have thought of. So I um, let's get back to the rest of the video. My, um, my goal is have to do some things with my plants because they are like there's one over here well there's a couple like my peace lily and this elephant ear and then this uh pothos behind me they all need they all need some attention and then i want to i propagated one i have one over here but i'm wanting to do a little bit more because i i um want to get some more started so i have some things that I'm wanting to do with my plants, but just in case you're seeing like there's a few dead spots, well dead leaves in some that I have to get to, I just wanted to explain that yes, I am going to take care of that. <laughs> I've just been working a lot and haven't really had time to fuss over them like I want to, but I just wanted to explain in case when I was spraying y'all saw like a few dead leaves here and there, but yeah, I'm going to get to those. is ugly and she doesn't like it and it drives her crazy and I told her that she could cut it she wants to cut the turtleneck and I said no because it wouldn't look right so she swears it will and I said no because been there done that I know how it works we all do so she's gonna try it on and then I told her if she does not like it we're gonna donate it for another little girl to wear because we're not cutting clothes and ruining clothes just because she doesn't want to wear a turtleneck 
and some of the little girl can enjoy it. So that is what we were arguing about, if you just saw that. It's so cute though. 